Hey guys, my name is Kern. I post on homerecordingweekly.com. It's also a podcast. We've been making better music uh, for a very long time over there. So if you're into recording and writing and stuff, check out the podcast, check out the uh, YouTube videos that I have, check out the website, homerecordingweekly.com. Guys, this is the new Holy Board, the M3. This is the wide version. It comes in many versions. I'll tell you all about them. And they're made by Chemistry Design Works. I'm gonna have all of the links to Chemistry Design Works, uh, to my last review and everything in the description below in this video. And I'll be putting links up to a video that I made for the original series uh, of the Holy Board that I had. This is the new design. They've added color and I think the colors are fantastic. I know there's blue, yellows, there's some reds, all kinds of cool colors. Like I said, this is the wide version. The, uh, the, the new versions, they've changed the types of wood that they use. They're still just as rugged. They're just thinner than the old versions. The, the plywood is a stronger grade, I think, but it's a, a short, you know, since it's stronger, it doesn't have to be as bulky and as heavy. And as you can see, they've added color. Now, this is the wide. Uh, they come in amp top, standard, wide, and the big kahuna. I can't imagine needing a bigger board than the one that I have here, but they have a size bigger. So this top piece right here, as you can see, it's a top layer that's risen, it has aluminum feet. Um, this top one alone is called the amp top. And it's great for singers or keyboard players that have pedals, you know, maybe four to six pedals, something like that you can have just the amp top. But this piece can be secured on the right hand side, on the left hand side, or in the center. So you can have room for volume pedals, uh, expression pedals, or wah pedals on both sides, on one side, whatever. So the M3 is the new boards from chemistrydesignworks.com. I think they're killer. I've been using holy boards for years now. Uh, I started out with the, the first series they came out with. I thought they were fantastic, but I keep upgrading the size. So let me stop here and tell you that I'm a neat freak. Uh, when it comes to my gear and my pedals, I got to have everything just right. And I don't like cables running everywhere. I put this together, I don't know, a week ago, maybe this, the pedals on the board. So not everything is nailed down and, and zipped out of sight yet, but it's gonna look pretty much like this, but the cabling won't be as loosey-goosey when I'm done. I, I don't like that. I want you to know, it. that's why I like the holy boards. You can route almost everything under the board. And as you can see, what makes the holy boards so special is your pedals are held on by zip ties. At first, I was like, well, why would you want to do that? That doesn't make much sense to me. But who wants to put Velcro on their pedals? You can never get it fully off. It's, it's nasty putting Velcro on your pedals. The paint comes off, and you can never fully get the residue off. And it's sometimes difficult to exchange pedals. That said, with a zip tie, you put the pedal on the board, you zip tie it in place, you cut off the end and you're done. If the pedal fails or you want to try a different pedal, you cut the zip tie off, pull the pedal off, put your new one on, zip tie it, and you're done. It's that easy. The holes lit are there for zip ties, but also for your cabling. You can you know, run your power cables and your audio cables underneath your board. So you will need to assemble your holy board when it comes. You need to assemble, you know, put on the grippy feet and put on the aluminum risers. So this thing that's banging around is the plug-in for my power supply. I have the power supply mounted underneath here and I have the plug-in just sitting here because when I get to a show, I just undo this bread tie and I plug in my, my board and everything is ready to go. Now, the reason I like the levels and it's a brilliant idea to have this. I know the flat ones are cool too. Uh, the flat style of pedal, board, pedal boards is cool too. But like I said in my last review, and I'm gonna put the link to that review in this video. Hopefully I can overlay that here. Uh, if you wanna check it out, 
I like to run my pedal boards with this being in my effects loop, the, the part on the riser, so that in my mind it's so simple. This is in my effects loop, and then the stuff on the bottom is before the amp. So I have a wah pedal, and I think it's a bit of a tone suck, even when it's not used, a wah pedal can do that. So I have a Keeley looper here that I can bring this in and out of the loop. It's a true bypass looper. So it acts like it's not even in the circuit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. So I plug in, when I get to the show, I plug in to the guitar, into the looper, and it goes through my Lightning Boy audio compressor and then a couple drive pedals and the freeze pedal by Electro Harmonics. That's the Luther drive from my friend and cool guy, uh, Gear Man Dude. If you've ever seen any of his reviews, he makes a great Tube Screamer clone uh, that is better than a Tube Screamer. It sounds better and all of the knobs actually do stuff. There's a cool switch for fattening up your, your stuff. And then all of my modulation is in the effects loop. Um, you know, reverb and univibe clone and chorus and delay. Uh, everything I need on one pedal board. Again, they make smaller ones, the standard, uh, the, this is the wide, they make the big kahuna. Uh, if you're a neat freak like me, uh, I can't say enough good about them, but wait. It got even better with the release of the M3. Not only is it thinner, lighter, and I think stronger than the old ones, much cooler looking, with different new sizes, bigger, uh, being better, of course. They have a new hard case for these. Now, it used to be that they had, I'll insert a, images here for you, it used to have a bomber bag, a soft case that kept the rain off your pedals, kept the elements, kept them safe and clean. And it was great, I had a shoulder strap and it was extremely rugged, the bomber bag. It's still available, I believe, if that's the way you wanna go. If, if you don't need a hard case, I know hard cases are bulky, then the bomber bags are extremely rugged, thick rubber, a very well-made case. And I had one for years, but I had to always be careful, like when I was moving around or going to a gig, I had to always put my pedal board on top. It wasn't a big deal, but it is what it is. Well, now they have a hard shell case. It's called the Great American Hard Case. It's like a guitar case. It's beautiful, in my opinion. It's hard, it's crush proof, it's so well made, and it is lined inside. It has like, it's like a guitar case. It has uh, the plush fur or fake fur on the inside. Uh, as you can see in the video insert I'm, I'm showing you guys, well made. There's hinges, there's feet on the bottom. It's kind of like a, a suitcase style or a guitar case, and it completely uh, makes transporting your expensive pedals to and from the show a breeze. So I have upgraded. I've got the new M3 Holy Board, and this blue is called Endless Summer Blue. I kind of like the names that they have. I think it's very cool. Uh, so that my pedals are right there when I need them, and I've got the new beautifully made hard shell case that I put my holy board into and I can't be any happier guys if you're a gigging musician and you don't like any of the pedal boards that are out there it's time that you give holy boards a try the handles on the side make getting it out of the case and putting it on the stage very easy you can carry them with one handle here uh, zip ties are the way to go. I've, I've come over to the side of this way of doing things and I'm never going back. I don't even own Velcro anymore. Uh, I just zip tie things down and they stay there for me. Um, I, there's a little bit of play in my pedals because sometimes I have to move them around just to get the cables in there. You know, like there's just a little bit of movement, but I mean, they're not going anywhere. The noise you hear are the cables touching the board. Everything is extremely safe and secure. If anything malfunctions, one snip, I can pull the pedal off, take it out of the circuit, replace it with another pedal, zip tie it in. If I want to experiment with pedals, I can do it in a second. If someone says, hey, check this pedal out, I can literally put it down on my board with a zip strip and I'm done. It's on there. I love it. This is the way to go. So anyway, Please check out Chemistry Design Works. 
thisisthebookshelf.com. This is the Holy Board, the M3. It's a new series, and you should go check them out. They got some cool colors. They got some cool designs. Again, with the new hard shell case, the Great American case. I mean, it's a it's a no brainer. I love I love them. I can't say enough about them, and I'm just thrilled that I've got the new M3. Thanks for your time, guys. I hope this review helps. And again, uh, there's a longer, lengthier review maybe for the old holy boards. You can see the progression. You can see what the old ones look like. I don't think they're available anymore, but it gives you an idea of how far they've come and how cool they are now, especially with the new case. I'm thrilled, and my gigs are better because of it.